My name is Oswald Ndoda. With me here is Pomono. Uh, let us greet him. Right, before we go into today's lesson, let's begin by sanitizing our hands like that, inside and outside, and then in between our fingers. We stretch out our hands to maintain the social distance and always we should have our masks on. Right, today's lesson is going to be on diminutive nouns. Right, boys and girls. Remember, we looked at common nouns. We also looked at abstract nouns, proper nouns. Now, we want to move on with these nouns. Like I said, today's lesson will be on diminutive nouns. Diminutive, let's pronounce that word properly. Right, what are diminutive nouns? Diminutives are words that refer to something smaller or younger. This is on page, uh, sorry, this is on page three. It's on page three of your booklet. Right, diminutive nouns are words that refer to something smaller or something which is younger. Remember about young ones of of different animals, and then we have also small things. For instance, a river, Okavango River, a small Okavango is called a rivulet. And then a young one of a dog is a cub, sorry, a puppy. And then we also have a young one of a, a cat is a kitten. Right, diminutives are made by adding a suffix et, l e t, l i n g, o c k, e double t e, and k i n to the root word. Now, we are saying these uh, these suffix are added to root words, e.g. A root word like eagle, if you add L-E-T, it becomes eaglet. So eaglet is the young one of an eagle. You have owl, a young one of an owl becomes an owlet. Duck, duckling, bull, bullock. Kitchen, kitchenette, hill. Hillock. Diminutives can also be a special word for something younger or smaller. E.g., tree, we call it a sapling. A, a, a small tree is called a sapling. Right, let's proceed. Below there on the same page, we have a list of diminutives. To refer to, we want to use this as our dictionary as we do our activities. Each time we will be turning to page three and look for the answers. There are quite a number of nouns and their diminutives. For instance, there's beer, cup, goose, gooseling, and then we also have um, the last ones, which is goat, kid, stallion. Colt, crown, coronet, etc. Let's turn to page four. Right, on page four, diminutive words with the suffix et and the suffix let, l e t. An example there for novel is novelette, kitchen, kitchenette, towel, towelette, cigar, cigarette, 
And then on the other side, we have pig, piglet, book, booklet, leaf, leaflet, and lastly, droplet. Right, boys and girls, let us turn to page four of our booklet. We want to look at activities. Number one, select the correct word from the box to complete the sentences. Now the words in the box read as signet, eaglet, phone, sapling, streamlet, kid, lamp, calf, aslet, duckling, cub, fall, rivulet, and gosling. Now, what you simply need to do is to choose a word that will complete the given uh, um, phrases there. For example, a, a young duck is a duckling. A young goat is a kid. So you proceed from C up to N, writing the correct uh, uh, diminutive for each. And then exercise, uh, I mean activity two, on the same page, it says, add the correct suffix to make the diminutive explain the meaning of each diminutive. For instance, we have hill. Do we say hillock or hillet? The answer should be hillock. That's a small hill. Then book. Do we say bookling or booklet? The answer should be booklet, meaning a small book. So you continue with the remaining um, activities. Now, activity three, that is on page five. Let's turn to page five. Activity three, it says, read this passage. And obviously, at the end of the passage, there are some questions to be answered. Now, let me read for you the passage first. While bending down to drink water from a rivulet one day, a fox and a cub fell in. Try as they would, they could not climb out because the walls of the rivulet were too high. All the tadpoles and fry along the bank were shocked at the arrival of the new inhabitants and swam away. Not long afterwards, a goat and a kid came along. Behind them were, lamp, were two lamps and a piglet, rushing to get the first sip of water. Seeing the fox and its cub in the water, the goat asked them why they were in the water. We are enjoying the cool, pure water, replied the fox. Would you like to jump in and taste it? Without stopping to think, the foolish goat jumped in, followed by the others. No sooner had he reached the bottom than the cunning old fox leaped onto his back and scrambled onto the bank with a cub in her, in her mouth. Looking down at the unhappy goat, the fox laughed and said, Next time, friend, be sure to look before you leap. Sadly, the goat, the kid, two lamps, and the piglet drowned. First to notice the free meal was an elver 
followed by tadpoles, fry, and terrapin hatchlings. They all had a good meal. Right, boys and girls, that's how we should read. Then we turn to page, um, page six of the booklet where we have the questions. You answer those questions from A to D. For instance, the first one would tell you, underline the diminutive nouns in the text. So if you go back to the passage on page five, as you read through, you would see quite a number of diminutive days, diminutives in there. Then you underline. Yours is simply to underline the diminutives. And then B says, write these words in the diminutive noun column below. Use each diminutive only once. Right. So I would like you to do that exercise and before that uh, okay that's fine right welcome back boys and girls let's go to page six of our booklet it says our uh, activity four says complete the following using diminutives a small hill is called a hillock a condensed book is called a booklet now c to g you can complete that on your own let's quickly move on to activity five which says use the diminutive suffixes to form diminutive nouns the diminutive suffix E T T E and then gives us I mean from the noun statue we have statuette. So we can do the rest on our own. Let's quickly turn to page um, seven, activity six. Draw a line from the diminutive to the correct definition of it. On your left hand, we have diminutives, and on your right hand, you have the definitions. So I begin with A. Definition A says a small river, a small ri uh, sorry, a very small river. You go to uh, your left side. If you look at number 12, it says rivulet. A very small river is a rivulet. So you join. A, a very small river and rivulet. That's A and 12. Also, a young, a young goose, that's on B. A young goose becomes a gooseling. So you join number one and B. Now, let us do the rest on our own. But before that, let's proceed to activity seven, which reads, change the underlined words to diminutives and rewrite the sentences. The lady found the dog in a river and took it home to dry off in her kitchen. The underlined diminutive nouns there are dog, river, and kitchen. So, if we are to rewrite that, the sentence would read as follows. The lady found the puppy in a rivulet and took it home to dry off in her kitchenette. So we can move on to B and do the rest. Now, on our page um, eight of our booklet, there is a crossword puzzle there. There's a crossword puzzle where we have um, a word being on our right, right bottom or bottom right. There, there is a, a list of words there, which are diminutives. 
And then on our right, where it says across and down, those are the nouns where we should write the, the diminutives. For example, number one, going downwards, it says pig. So you go to number one, you find the diminutive of a pig, the young one of a pig. That should be a piglet. So if you write from number one going downwards, piglet should fit in those boxes. Across, that's number two, we have got, now the diminutive or the young one of a goat is a kid. Those are three letters, they should also fit across there. So you continue from number one, two, up to the last one, which is number 20, writing the, um, the diminutives. Right, boys and girls, thank you very much for listening. Uh, we have come a long way doing these nouns. Uh, like I said, we did proper nouns, we did abstract nouns. Today we're looking at diminutives. Please, let's not forget them. Right, but before I go, always remember to sanitize. You squeeze your hands inside like that, outside in between the fingers. Stretch out at least to ensure a meter apart. And then you put on your mask. Thank you very much, boys and girls. We will meet in the next lesson. Bye bye. What is social distancing? Hi everyone, I am Zoshi and I am back. It literally just means that you need to stay home all the time and keep away from crowded places. And remember to keep your distance from your friends too. Everybody stay safe. Yay! Till next time. Bye! the day you found out you had COVID? The day I found out I had COVID. It was a difficult day. I didn't understand how I got COVID. Because I was always covered, I was always with my hand sanitizer. It came with my wife. And that whole day, I was thinking, What's going to happen to me? I'm going to survive. My kids. I was losing my tasting, smelling. There were some days I would test my taste buds and put like four or five 
chilies in my coffee. No way. I didn't taste it. So did you also lose your appetite in the process? It was very funny. In the first week, no, I was chowing. I was chowing like I will wake up like midnight and <laughs> make for me something. But after the first week, then the appetite was gone. When you go to bed, your body is also automatically switching off. And that's a dangerous time for COVID. It's like glass pinching you, cutting you inside your lungs. Then the heart was pumping like, like rabbit pumps. You are losing a lot of fluids at night. Is that through fever or what? Yeah, it's through fever. So have you experienced any side effects from having contracted COVID-19? No, not yet. Maybe it's still coming, but not yet. And your wife? She was complaining about light head. It's an annoying headache. It's light, but it's annoying. So basically, you didn't take any prescribed medicine from the doctor to recover no. from COVID? No, I didn't. The only thing I was using is desperate for my blood not to clot. Because for some people, when your lungs are really, really infected, your blood will start to clot from the lungs, close all the airwaves. That's where we are passing. I'm smoking cigarette and when you were a smoker and COVID in your lungs now. So then after you found out, you both found out you had COVID, um, what did you guys do to protect the kids? The kids move out from the house. The booties will come, then we'll collect everything for them and just put for them outside when they came. Just grab the food and go. So what was the biggest battle for you? Was it mental or physical? Mentally. Mentally was the biggest battle. I'm actually an international movie maker and my career was cut off. I couldn't put bread on the table. There were some days we mm. have one meal for the day and went to bed. And that was hitting me in my mind. What if blessing get corona now? Where am I going to go? Who can I help? There were also some people depend on us in the rural areas. We couldn't help them. My future was black. Dark, dark, dark. I couldn't even see that small light at the end of the tunnel. One day, my daughter decided now, I want to see my father today. And I just told her, yeah, she can come. The first words was, Daddy, I was praying for you yesterday night. Don't worry, Corona will go back soon. And I was asking, from where, from Namibia? I said, no, not from Namibia, from you. And you are not looking good. And she was actually a heartbroken. Until today, she hates Corona. From there, then I was like, oh, okay, if the smallest one is saying this, why am I not picking me up self and do the right thing and get rid of this thing? That's where I started to run, to practice, coming to my quiet place. And actually, the main thing that broke my heart during that time was there was no one. The time of COVID. There was no, no one. So can you tell us where we are right now? We are at my silent place. I call this place my silent place. I will come here when the COVID is hitting me like 120%. Looking at the ocean, then you will hear voices like, no, you don't belong here today. You don't belong here. Get up and go home. Some days they will nurse you like, now you will survive. Your future is a bright future. You must not give up now. Think about your kids, think about the people around you. Even the wind will do that. Actually, you must meditate. 
The thing of COVID is, looks like COVID is afraid of the warmness and is friends with the coldness. So the whole time you are baking in the sun, it helps a lot. So is that what you did? Yeah, I did. I will do that twice a day. This was a, supposed to be a, a golden year for me, a very, very good golden year for me. But then COVID decided now, this is not going to be your golden year. Everything was cancelled. We, the fellow makers, this year, from the international shoots, lost a lot of, lot of money. You've lost three family members? Is it all due to COVID? No, not all due to COVID. First one, my sister. She was very close to me. She contracted COVID April. And she was in ICU for three months. The COVID damaged her lungs and at the stage her lungs collapsed and she couldn't breathe without the machines. Her kidneys failed. Her liver has failed. COVID is real. First of all, COVID is real. It's not a joke. Most of the people, they fall away from COVID regulations. Still early to fall away from COVID regulations. We must still go in line with those COVID regulations. And how long did you say it took you to recover? Three weeks. 21 days. What must somebody do to change your mind from that negative perspective to that positive? Covert, no job. It's very dangerous. There was one day I just decided I'm going to take a rope, go to the jetty, sit around there, and after all I will hang there by the jetty. The time I arrived here, there was no wind, out of nowhere. The ocean was like angry, angry, and it started to get cold. And I was like, but it was just nice weather. Then I sat down. Then the universe will talk with you, the wind, the sun, the ocean. That's the main thing of COVID. If you don't save yourself, no one will save you. And we must always appreciate what we have around us. That's the main thing in COVID. If you don't appreciate what you have around you, no, you lose your head. Smile, smile, smile. When you walk with me, I just want to smile, smile. My industry and what I've done with my hands in Namibia, it's going all over the world and here you are Babaji, you want to quit now. I'm excited for 2021. It's not gonna be the same like in 2020 now. I'm making back in the groove. <laughs> Give me food, blood, water, and shelter. Nothing else, no matter. You're my moonlight in my oven. Let all my sins be forgiven. Happiness rain on me.